I know what maybe you guys were thinking because I was thinking the same thing. Oh God. I mean, so it's Sting against the Young Bucks, and the, and the Super Kick Party could just like end Sting's life, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that they'll be gentle with Sting, they'll put the heat on Darby, and I think the match is going to be fine. That more than likely will be the main event at Revolution, and I think it's going to be okay. Flair is definitely taking a Super Kick, right? Hopefully, oh, without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt. Hopefully. I, I thought he was going to take a bump. I was ready for him to take a bump last night. I, I really was thought that was scared gonna last night. I thought Hobbs was going to break him. I was hoping. <laughs> I was, and I love Ric Flair, but just the idea that you get a spot on Dynamite, get the hell out of the ring. Yeah, but I mean, that, I mean, the guy that's always dressed clean, jeans. What did he lose his luggage? <laughs> jeans, bad jeans. Who old man jeans? Get right. out of there, Flair. Like you're, you're chopping, and then of course your spot is the Roddy Piper spot, just the eye poke, and then get out. He can barely get out of the ring. Get out. But but I, you didn't like that that analysis I gave, bro. It's I could tell. I laid out how the Young Bucks are, are very good at carrying a tag sure. team that's that's underneath them, and I think that that works. You're not so sure. Okay, okay. You have something? Well, no, I was going to say, because the, the other thing I would say, like the other team that could probably carry another tag team are the Lucha Bros. Now, Ray's injured right now. Sure. But, they, but the Lucha Bros – unfortunately because of the language gap and, and their English isn't great. Like they don't carry stories. Like those guys put on banger matches, but they're not carrying on these long blood feuds and stories other than the feud they have with the young bucks, because well, they've had like seven bangers in AEW in their time together. And you know, th they've reached fight forever status. Anytime those two tag teams get together. So th the other tag team that could potentially do the things that you're talking about, I just don't think could tell the same story that you're going to be able to get, you know, because you know you're going to get mic time with Darby and Sting, and you're going to get mic time with the Jacksons, and I think that they're going to be able to do something good. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think FTR you could put in that boat. So that's the thing. I agree with everything you're saying about the in-ring stuff. I think the match will be good, and we've seen that from Sting. Like, last night was good. Him taking that bump, like, through the table, which he almost missed, like, it was entertaining. It was a good match. I think it'll be similar to that. And maybe I get hooked, but like I just don't know what the story is yet. And maybe I think I've convinced myself that it was going to be him versus Darby. Like I guess we're just never going to get a Sting one-on-one -on -one match, which obviously is something he doesn't want. But I'd like to see that as the final match, like him versus Darby. Let Darby get the win and go out that way. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm betting that he probably yeah he probably doesn't think he can put on a full sure. fourteen to fifteen minute match by himself at this point. Yeah, he just he can't do it. Sure, I think, and, and, that's and, fine. He, and that's okay. That's yeah. what sixty two. Right. Like I, I, like I understand. I didn't think like he'd he looked this good at sixty two. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, he can't. He can't do it. It's, it's. I think it's the match that we all thought. Like, yeah, your last match should be a singles match, Stinger Splash, Scorpion Death Lock, or Drop One Two Three. Right. right. Or tap. And it just. I don't think he can do it. And, I'm sure and, he and saw the Flair one. It's like I'm not doing that. That's okay. And that's yeah. okay. And that was like, fine that. too. But I also think that, I mean, he's had his best matches when they've done these no rules, you know, like last yeah. night was a tornado tag where he can get protected a little bit more, you know, yeah. so it's not just the lights being shown on him to do all this technical wrestling work in the middle of a ring where, I mean, how many times he's jumped off a bunch of things. He did the scorpion death drop onto the table last night. Like he's done a lot of the high flying stunts and that's what's kind of made this AEW run such a memorable one for Sting.